women and even some main face, but as Carolina just said, there is help out there and certainly solutions. And joining us now is Harbor House CEO Michelle Sprizel and Raquel Gonzalez. You just heard her share her experiences. And first of all, thank you so much for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine how difficult that is. And you're helping a lot of people. Yeah, it's very difficult, but I must do it. And Michelle, talking a little bit about Harbor House, for people who don't know what Harbor House is and the services that you offer, just kind of recap what what you do. Sure. So we're the certified domestic violence center that serves here in Orange County. So we have our 24-hour confidential crisis hotline. We have an emergency shelter. And then we also have um, outreach offices throughout all of Orange County where someone who might be living with the abuser or someone um, might be too scared to actually call the hotline, they can come in and they can do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with an advocate. And then we also have an office in the courthouse where we have some attorneys. So if someone needs to file an injunction, they can go to the courthouse and they can meet with an attorney and help file an injunction. And you've seen a big increase in the last year in calls. Why do you think that is? I believe that we've seen it for two different reasons. One, I would say right around this time, it's the anniversary of the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are feeling more comfortable coming forward because like I said, silence is an abuser's best ally. Yeah. And if all of us are comfortable talking about something that's happening to you intimately, then someone's gonna feel stronger and more confident that they're gonna be believed. And that's a big thing. The other thing would just be our community in general. Um, Central Florida is phenomenal as far as really getting the word out and, and talking about domestic violence and talking about sexual assault. And so again, even here locally, people feel more comfortable because they know that they're gonna be believed. Believed. And we're talking about um, your story and, and what your hope is um, for you coming out and, and sharing your experience with other women, other men who, who might be feeling what you were feeling as well. Can you kind of give me an idea of what, what your hope is for somebody who maybe was watching this? Well, my hope is that it gets to them, um, that they could get to hear my story and um, not repeat my story. That's my mission. I don't want someone to have to live through what I went through and what I'm still going through, <clears throat> excuse me, after so many years. And um, to not feel alone, because you do feel very isolated. They make you feel that way. And no matter how much you try to not feel that isolation, they have control over that. So just speak up, um, not to the world, obviously, you know, initially, but to look for help. Um, even if it's just that one person that your gut tells you to say it to, don't be afraid that he might hear you. He's not, you know, just get help. What do you think people outside these situations just don't understand? What do you want them to know? Um, they believe as um, the victim has, is it's very easy for them to just leave. Mm -hmm. um, it's more like an escape. Mm -hmm. So for them to have to plan that escape and have that one person they can trust to leave that abuser is the main, the main focus here. Um, but they feel attacked by the world because mm -hmm. the abuser also mentions this to them. Like, you know, the, uh, no one's going to believe you. I'm the only one here to protect you. The whole world would come against you. You will lose your kids if you do. So they brainwash you to believe that. And then at the same time, you're so fearful from mm -hmm what the abuse that you've had already in, he's inflicted upon you physically and emotionally that you believe that it's going to get worse but it is going to get worse if you don't get help and you said it's like an escape so somebody mm -hmm. you know we're tight on time but somebody who's watching at home who knows someone or who needs help what do they what can they do right now they can go to the harbor house website to get more information there's an escape button on there or if someone needs help you can always call the state hotline and that's 1-800-500-1119 and if you know someone who might be going through this, you can call that hotline Absolutely. and find out how to help them too. Absolutely. We're there for people who are experiencing domestic violence or if you have a friend or a family member that you want to help. We're there for both. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us Thanks this morning. Thank you. Having us.